Next, Jiu-Jitsu Grandmaster and Family Safety Book author Michael DiPasquale Jr. is going to give you some handy lessons on how anyone can defend themselves. Hi, my name is Michael DiPasquale Jr. I'm the Executive Director and the founder of the Federation of United Martial Arts Crusade Against Crime and Drugs. Today we're going to teach you at home techniques that you could use to protect yourself any place, any time. With that, let's get going. Probably the most common attack for women especially is that choke. Please, Sean, can we choke? Okay, now that's fast way of doing it. What they call that is intercepting. Okay, they call this a prayer block. What it simply is, is when the man comes in with a choke, we do the prayer. We open it up, slide across, come under the arm, the elbow, locking the shoulder here. Very simple technique and breaking from here. Another technique you have, which is very important choke-wise, okay, if someone's coming in for a choke, they do the prayer block, put your hand behind the head. My thumb's underneath the larynx. If I push the head forward, they gasp for air, because the larynx goes right into the windpipe. So we have two techniques. One comes in here, locking up, breaking. Second technique, prayer block up, yeah. straight into the head, top of the head pushing, thumb is underneath the larynx and we just push forward. If a person does have you in a good solid choke, you're gonna find that you have very little time. And again, what you have in a street situation is you always have an attacker looking at you as a victim. But when it comes down to defending yourself, all of a sudden that surprise defense becomes a surprise attack. So the minute the hands come around the throat here, we come in here. We slide to the wrist. So let me just turn this way, please. Turn it over with your shoulder and lock. Keep this hand tied into the shoulder. Why? If he goes to pull and slap me, I'll break his arm here. The key is not to do this, which a lot of people think getting away from the man is gonna help them. You wanna use your body weight to break the man's wrist. Now, next technique, which is probably the simplest technique in my opinion, is that technique come off a choke, hand comes up. So the average person who's gonna attack you comes in with a choke, we wanna catch the fingers and get the hands here and break down and lock it up in here. Now, we grab the hand, fingers tip where the knuckles are and we bring our hand around so we bring our three fingers here these two fingers stay here we point this finger if we grab we can secure this better yet man cannot get out of this he tries to pull down to break his own hand but again to secure ourselves we have our strikes here okay we have the roundhouse punch the roundhouse punch is a dead arm block so slow motion we block strike so we have all those, we can take them out from here and bring them to the ground as well. And from this position, they can't go anywhere at all. I'm Michael DePasquale Jr. This is Inside Martial Arts. We'll be right back after this. We're back, Michael DePasquale Jr. here. Earlier I showed you some simple techniques. Now I'm gonna show you some advanced techniques. I wanna introduce you to my Uki, Bob Robert Scott, one of my top black belts. All right, Babus. All right, first off, what we're gonna do is show you some of the serious side of self-defense. So we'll start with the roundhouse punch. He throws a roundhouse punch, we have to learn how to do the dead arm. The traditional block, come in, stops the motion, but when he overpowers you, you become kind of like a statue. So this kind of motion, where the person who's really strong can knock you over. So we're gonna go into the technique with, the first thing is the dead arm from here with a strike. The strike immobilizes a man, incapacitates him, knocks the wind at him. So what we need to do is come from here, one, two, three. As he starts to pull up, I say strong this way, we wanna just exercise the joint. Where does the joint naturally go? It goes backward. So he's gonna pull it back to punch me. And then it's too late, cause I'll snap his wrist. Now we can take him down to the ground. He can't budge from me. Put your hand behind your back, please. Fold your feet, bring him up. Why do we fold the feet, even a civilian? Because we don't want him to have any position so that when I slip, if I slip, he can get his feet on the ground, his arms on the ground, and move fast. Now if you're a cop, you can handcuff. Number two, we were showing this before. 
throws a roundhouse punch, one, two. So you can come in straight here, striking here. These are more advanced because they react fast. Choke. Comes in with a choke from this position here, and he gets a hold of your hand. Several options. You can grab the hand as you kick straight down. Bring the hand up, throw, and bring him around once again in a lock. Very controlled. Notice that my position is always close range. Right, next one, if he grabs, and he's grabbing the lapel, and he throws a punch, I want that dead arm to happen. This is very important. Let's turn this way, Bobby, so they can see. How do I manage to manipulate this man by using motion? Jiu-Jitsu is based upon motion. So when he does this, I can throw this motion. So when I block it, I can literally take that arm. So now that he has to bring that back out, as he brings this out, I'm going in. As he does here, one, two, as he pulls out, I do this. Man coming in with a straight punch. Let's assume it's a knife technique. You have to understand something. Come to with a knife technique here. You've got to get out of the way. From this position here, you're coming in. It's put your hand down. We can come up, lock him down here, bring him back, roll with the motion, and carry it there. This technique here is one of my favorite. Why? Because it's a street to ground technique, and it's very, very simple because it's fast, clean. I'll show it slow, quick. He throws a roundhouse punch, and it can be used off a lot of different defenses. And then you. Elbows come up to the chin and lean him backward as your foot is hooking. So you can see the hook in here. With that, I'm going to show you how this works fast. He comes in, and I sit over, and now his arm can be busted from here. Up, in, and throw. And that's it. I thank you very much for your attention. Hopefully you did get something. My name is Michael DePasquale Jr. Hope you enjoyed the company. Bye-bye.